Hi everybody, welcome back to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI Corps. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the autonomous database. So what we are going to discuss, the, what is autonomous database, the capabilities of ADB, ADB workload types and ADB deployment choices that Oracle offers. So let's start and discuss what is autonomous database, a fully automated database service that makes it easy for everybody to develop and deploy application workload, regardless the complexity of your workload, scale or criticality. Autonomous database converged engine supports diversified data types. It simplify your application development and deployment from modeling to coding to ETL, database optimization and data analysis. So Oracle Autonomous Database comes with the machine learning driven automated tuning, scaling, patching autonomous database delivers the highest performance availability and security for various kinds of workloads, whether it's OLTP workloads, analytics workload, your IoT workloads. So it, Built on an Oracle database and Oracle Exa data, autonomous database is available on OCI for shared and dedicated deployments. So, autonomous database offers various capabilities, as the name suggests, autonomous. So, when you need an autonomous database, it will be provisioned automatically you need to do some few clicks your database will be ready you don't need to do anything so use auto provisioning to create your autonomous database auto repairing so if something goes wrong with your autonomous database your database will be repaired automatically without any human intervention auto tuning so Auto-tuning, it simplifies the creation and optimization of all data stores in the cloud. So auto-scaling, you have an option to scale your autonomous database as, as and when the, your database need more resources, it will be scaled, whether it's a CPU or a storage, it will be scaled and your database will be able to handle all kinds of spikes. Automatic, automating patching. So whenever a new patch is released by Oracle, the patching will happen automatically. There is no human intervention, nothing. You don't need any administrator, administrator staff who are going to apply the patches on your autonomous database. Auto backup. So by default, backups are enabled, which will be, which will be your database will be backed up and as and when you need the backup, you need to create another database, you can create from the backups. Auto upgrades, your database will be upgrades, upgrade automatically, there is no human intervention. And here you see all the administrator tasks are automated by that autonomous databases. Now let us discuss about ADB capabilities. The machine learning so machine learning in oracle database supports data exploration preparation and machine learning modeling at scale using sql python r rest auto ml and no code interface it includes more than 30 high performance in database algorithm producing models for immediate use in application the graph Analytics. The graph database parts of Oracle Converse database offering eliminate the need to set up a separate database and move data. It analysts and developers can perform fraud detection in banking, find connections and link to data, and improve traceability in smart manufacturing. And then spatial analytics. Oracle's special database is included in Oracle ADB, allowing developers and analysts 
to get started easily with location intelligence analytics and mapping services it enables geographic information system professionals to successfully deploy advanced geospatial applications low code development so your adb comes with the apex by default which you can use to build your enterprise grade web application in minute by just dragging and dropping the components so apex is a low code development platform that enables you to build scalable secure enterprise apps with world class features that can be deployed anywhere self service management so adb comes with lot many tools by default so you have you it comes with built in easy to self service data management tool like if you want to import bulk data if you wanted to create some object like table view we have a web we have a sql worksheet on web which will allow you to perform everything and then security security is like the one of the most important aspect of each and every service you use so oracle data safe empowers organization to understand data sensitivity evaluate data risk make sensitive data implement and monitor security controls assess user security and monitor user activity all via a single unified console so these are the various capabilities that your autonomous database offers now let us discuss about what are the various workload types that your autonomous database offers the first is your atp atp stands for autonomous transaction processing what it is let us discuss this so a fully auto automated database service optimized to run transactional analytics and batch workloads concurrently it accelerate performance it is pre configured with raw format indexing indexes and data caching while providing scalability availability transparent security and real time operational analytics so with autonomous database application developers and dbas can rapidly easily can rapidly easily and cost effectively develop and deploy application without sacrificing functionality or asset properties so this is first atp autonomous transaction processing so it is ideal for your transactions workloads batch workloads reporting iot whenever you need to build an application you use atp and for machine learning the second is called your adw autonomous data warehouse a fully autonomous cloud database service optimized for analytics workloads which can include your data mart requirement data lake data warehouses so that adw is pre configured with columnar format partitioning and large joins to simplify and accelerate database provisioning extracting loading and transforming data running sophisticated reports generating predictions and creating machine learning models the last one is your autonomous json database so oracle autonomous dd or we can say agd is a another version of your autonomous database exclusive exclusively for transactions and analytics on json data In, and includes a mongodb api so it is ideal for your mobile applications development applications with dynamic personalized experiences content and catalog management so now let us discuss about adb deployment choices the first is called shared infrastructure as the name suggests shared so when you create your adb you have a deployment choices which type of infrastructure you want to use to deploy your autonomous database the one is shared infrastructure wherein you don't need to provision the infrastructure you simply select that shared infrastructure your exadata exadata uh, 
infrastructure will be provisioned, meaning it will be on the shared, uh, shared infrastructure. Other customers may be using the same exact data infrastructure. So it automates provisioning of our database. It lowers cost. It lowers cost because of the shared infrastructure, and it allows auto scaling as well. The second deployment choice is dedicated infrastructure. So before you create your autonomous database and you need an infrastructure, dedicated infrastructure, you have to create the infrastructure and then provision your database. Why do we need it? Because we need the highest isolation of our data. We don't want to compromise our data. We don't want to share our infrastructure on which our database is running. Hence, we create a dedicated infrastructure. It delivers fast query and performance, of course, high cost because we have, so this infrastructure is not shared by others. It is exclusively defined for a particular customer. Highest security because nobody can come to your infrastructure. Dedicated compute, dedicated storage the customer is going to get on this dedicated infrastructure. And then there's a clouded customer infrastructure as well, like the government uh, organization don't want it to compromise their data. They don't want it to take data outside of their on-prem on premises. So what they can do if they still want to leverage the Oracle Autonomous Database, we have a choice. They have a choice of clouded customer. ADB in customer data center to meet regulatory data sovereignty or network latency requirements for workloads that cannot move to the public clouds. So these are the three different choices that ADB offers. That's all about this. Thank you. Bye-bye.